Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And when I went for a walk this morning, I came across a completely cloudless sky. And I know this is going to be an amazing sunrise. And when the sun came through the horizon, it appeared as a perfectly round golden disk. It is so different from the sunrise yesterday. I feel very fortunate I'm able to witness this change. So okay, let's get to today's video. I'm going to talk about the importance of template-based cooking in make home cooking fun and creative. My friend Janet told me that uh, she get really frustrated each night when she walk in the kitchen. She doesn't know what to cook that night. It seems that she has already exhausted uh, the dishes in her repertoire, and she has become bored with them. And she definitely would like to cook something different, some dishes that she would like to have, but she just doesn't have the energy to look up the recipes and figure them out. And we should wish that so much she could walk into the kitchen and just cook whatever that she feel like to. If you feel the same way, you are not the only one. Because there are millions of people, they find themselves got stuck in the same situation, not knowing what to cook. Uh, even everybody know how important home cooking is uh, for their long-term health. And so Janet told me that more often than not, uh, she will then pack up the family into the car and they head out to the nearest fast food joint. Uh, but that has changed dramatically uh, after Janet has adopted my fast cooking system. The word fast is the acronym for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. One of the central aspects of the fast cooking system is template-based cooking. With template-based cooking, you essentially can cook anything you want, particularly of the food that you enjoy, but with varieties and diversity. And this will make your home cooking interesting, creative, fun, and never boring. Jenna told me that with template-based cooking, she never cooked the same dish twice. She now cooks 7 days a week, 365 days a year, and she never gets tired of it. In fact, cooking each night is one of her highlights of the day. And instead of dreading it, she looks forward to enter the kitchen. So what is template-based cooking? So in this video, I'm going to outline some of the main characteristics of template-based cooking, and I'm going to use the dish scramlet as a demonstration. A scramlet is a dish that has a combination of both scrambled eggs as well as omelet in its characteristics. In this video, I have demonstrated how you prepare a simple scramlet dish with scallions. Now, according to the recipe, cooking this dish is very simple and straightforward. The first step is to season the egg with different seasoning agents that depend on your preference. And then you simply cook the egg in the wok. Now, the important thing about this step is that the wok has to be well seasoned so that the egg would not stick to the bottom of the wok. And because you want to be able to easily turn and stir the eggs in the wok. And the end result is to create a light and fluffy texture uh, somewhere between a scrambled egg and an egg omelette. And in this case, for this particular recipe of the uh, scrambled with uh, scallions, uh, I add scallions uh, to the egg at the final stage of the cooking process. And uh, because according to the recipe, uh, I would not want to overcook the scallions. As by adding the scallions at the end, I will retain the freshness of the scallions. Uh, so to me, the basic characteristics of this dish uh, is the texture, which retains some aspects of scrambled egg, but also some aspects of an egg omelet. And the scallion is basically like a filling that you enclose uh, inside the egg. Uh, but similar to an egg omelet, the scamlet will allow you to exchange different ingredients that you put into the dish. And so if you consider an egg omelette is a template, 
then Scramblet is also a template. And the advantage of a Scramblet is that you can cook in the wok, and you can use many different kinds of ingredients. So here is a modification of the Scramblet. Uh, instead of using the only scallions, I'm also going to add shrimp uh, to this dish. A shrimp scramblet actually is probably one of my most favorite dishes. However, in order to incorporate shrimp into the scramblet, uh, you need to make some modifications of how you're going to cook this dish. So, in this case, the modification is to take into account the amount of time that you need to cook the shrimp. Because the scramblet cooks very quickly, so you need to find a way that you can cook the shrimp quickly as well. So one modification is to cut the shrimp into smaller pieces so they would be able to cook quickly. So as you can see here, with these small modifications, now I am able to prepare a shrimp scramblet dish, basically using the same basic template that I used earlier to cook a scramblet with scallions. The end result is that it gives you tremendous flexibility in what you can do with this scramblet dish. In fact, you can repeat this scrambled dish several times during the week because by cooking it differently, you will have a very different culinary experience. So here I'm going to demonstrate a third variations of this scrambled dish. In this dish, I'm going to cook with some cherry tomatoes as well as some edamame and both of the ingredients that I really enjoy. So in this case, the scrambled dish, the eggs become a vehicle for the presentation of the edamame as well as the tomatoes. Again, the basic step in creating this scrambled dish is the same as all the other scrambled dish that I have done before. And in this case, the modification in cooking this scrambled dish is very similar to the shrimp scrambled dish that I cook. I add the cherry tomatoes and the edamame early during the cooking process. At first, because I want to cook the cherry tomatoes a little bit longer. And second, because I took the edamame directly out of the freezer. In this case, by the time when the egg cooked to the texture that I would like, both the tomatoes and edamame are ready. So you can imagine by using different combinations and also by slight modifications, you can create many different versions of this basic scrambled template. Or you can create different combinations of ingredients. For example, you can create a scrambled dish with shrimp and tomatoes. Or you can create one with shrimp and bay scallop. The possibility of different type of scrambled dishes that you could create uh, is really only limited by your imagination. And when you have many different templates in your possession, you can see that uh, there are almost limitless possibility that you could create in your dishes. And this is what exactly Janet means. Uh, when she said that uh, after she adopted my fast cooking system, she had never cooked the same dish twice uh, because of all the possible combinations that she could uh, combine with not just uh, one template, but with multiple templates. And all it takes is to learn about maybe 5 to 10 templates reasonably well that you can create variations with them. And the possibility is almost infinite. Uh, to me, that's when cooking becomes exciting because each time you walk into the kitchens, you see possibilities, rather than lamenting what you are going to cook next. I post a video every day uh, to help people to learn about my fast cooking system uh, so they can cook on a daily basis. Uh, this is important not only for their health, but it's also a lot of fun and pleasurable to cook the food that you love and enjoy. So keep on cooking, and I will see you tomorrow.